And then he starts to sing. And you might hear something that sounds like this. It's my own fault, babe. Time will tell I didn't love you. What'd you say? Okay, here's the notes and such for It's My Own Fault. Uh, there's not much of an intro solo, it's just a few seconds long. It's pretty close to Sweet Little Angel, it's in the same key, C sharp blues. Let me just listen to it a little bit here, remind myself. Well, let's think about 13th fret, 3rd string, 13, 14, 15, fingers 1, 2, 3. Shift your first finger to 14 on the second string, play 14, 16. So that's a hammer pull off for combination 14, 16, and then you get 15 on the third string with your second finger. There's a little pause before he comes back to the first finger, 14 on the second string. So it's like. Then you're gonna put your third finger here because, well, you're gonna play the standard um, classic BB lick here. Second string 14, 12, 14, 14 up, release, pull off to 12. Back to 14 on the second string. When you come to 12 on the first string, quarter tone bend as you've seen in my other videos. And then we have this look here. So it's based off the F shape at the ninth fret, which is C sharp. You're gonna slide with your second finger to 10 on the third string. You're gonna play nine with your first finger on the second string. You're gonna play 11, that's the fourth note of the scale. So you're gonna play third string 10, second string nine, third string 11, First string nine, second string nine. And you're gonna reach back here on the third string. Eight, six, slide eight to 10. And then you're gonna play nine on the second string. Then you're gonna make this kind of thing. You have nine on the second string, 10 on the third string, 11 on the fourth string, 11 on the fifth string. It's just a major chord you're just gonna... And then This is a um, C sharp 6 Third string 10 Second string 11 First string 9 Change fingers here to the third finger Quarter bend Six, 
9, 10, 11, 11. Inside four strings. 10, 11, 9. Now this C-sharp 6 is also going to start the main solo. So he's going to hit it, staccato. Lay your finger across 9, play 2nd string, 1st string, slide 2nd string up to 14. Vibrato. So, 2nd string 14. First string 12, back to 14, more vibrato on the second string, 12 up. Second string 14. So that's the standard lick here. And then you hammer 1 to 2, 12 to 13. And then watch, you do this standard lick again. Play first string 12 and 14, slide away. Third string 10, second string 9, first string 9, second string 9. Second string 12 bent up, some vibrato, no pull off, second string 12, 9, third string pull off 11, 9, fourth string 11, third string 9, and this is kind of, he kind of makes a mistake here, he doesn't hit this note clearly, I come back to 11. But if you hear the record, he kind of blows that last note. So this is 11 on the 4th string, pick both of these 9 to 11 on the 3rd string, 2nd string 9, 3rd string 9, 11 on the 3rd string vibrato, same string 9, 4th string 11, twice vibrato the 2nd time. Very little bit of a, very little bit of a vibrato. Rank to nine on the first string and then come back to nine on the second string. First finger, bend twelve. Your pinky. Second string, that second string, and then second string twelve nine. Third string eleven. Third string nine. Between a quarter and a half, almost a half. It's a little closer to a half. Fifth 
fifth string, 11 with your pinky. Fourth string, 8 to 11, fingers 1 and 4. Third string, 9. Then you hit that again and slide to 10. That puts your first finger at 9 on the second string, and your third finger at 11 on the third string. And then you do a hammer 9 to 10 on the third string. You hit 11 on the fourth string twice. Then you just double stop here, second and third string at ninth fret, but only hammer the third string to 10. See that second string is stayed at 9. Second string, first string, both at nine. Two, one, two, one. Second string, fourteen. Hammer twelve to fourteen on the first string. Bend that up. When you land on the second string at fourteen, put some vibrato up. Bend that up between a quarter and a half tone. Fourteen on the second string, slide into that. Third string, thirteen or eleven. Fourth string, fourteen. Back to third string, eleven, thirteen. Then he jumps back here, just once. Fourteen again. Place your finger on the first string. Do this fourteen bend, release, pull off to twelve, fourteen. Once, twice, three times, four times. After the fourth time, you just hit your first finger at twelve, second finger at fourteen, second string. C sharp chord. Third string ten, slide into it. Second string nine. First string nine. Second string eleven. So he hits the sixth, sixth th of the scale. Second string nine. Third string eleven nine. And then fourth string eleven. Fifth string eleven. Now this was a little hard to match up. It's a very staccato. See, he's coming to this note. But he's doing a rake across three strings, hammering. It's all at nine, but he's hammering nine to ten on the third string. See, it's hard to do. Does that twice. Cut them very short. Come up to twelve, rake up to that. That's twelve, fourteen, twelve on the first string. The last thing he does is 11 on the third string, 10 and 10 on strings 2 and 1. You notice we've been playing this at 9, at C sharp. But now he's moving from C sharp to D. That's the key of the new song, the next song on the record. Um, uh, I can't think of the name of it right now. Track 4. <laughs> I didn't play that perfectly, but I want you to get the gist of it. All right, that covers the notes of everything.